In today's video we are going to go over a list of vanilla player commands that can be used in-game, on the server, as an admin by typing them in the chat. The first command we're going to go over is admin. The admin command is used to give a player admin blue hammer. From this they would be able to do all of the commands and have access to all permissions. You will have to give yourself admin from the console for the very first time. The syntax for this is quite simple, all you have to do is do slash admin and the player name. For example, slash admin macro. The same thing you can do is to unadmin. Once you do the unadmin command, you remove the admin blue hammer from a player. And for the syntax for this is just slash unadmin player. A tip that I recommend is that there is no way to remove admin from someone who is offline. So in order to do this, for this you would need to stop the server and delete the admin list.dat file which you will find in the same directory as commands.file. Next, let's go over to the kick command, which is used to kick a player from the server. The syntax for this is slash kick player and reason. For an example, slash kick macro, in quotations, abusive language. The next command we're going to go over is the ban command, which is used to ban a player from a server for a specific time. The syntax for this is slash ban player name, the reason and the time. The duration for the time is in seconds. If not specified, the ban is permanent. Don't forget to use the quotation marks for the reason it has more than one word. For example, if you're typing griefing and cross-teaming, you would need to have quotation marks in between all of those. Next, we're going to go to unban, which is the same way is used to unban a player from the server. The syntax is slash unban player, and for this you would need the Steam ID of the player to unban. If you want to delete all bans from the server, stop the server and delete the blacklist.dat file, in the same directory as comments.dotfile. Next, let's go over to the spy command, which this is used to take a screenshot of a player's screen. After using this command, you can view when you press the escape key. For this, the syntax is slash spy player. Next, let's go over to slash day and slash night. When you do this command, the time of the server will either switch to day or to night. Next, let's go over to weather. You can start a storm by typing slash weather storm. In order to stop this storm, you would need to do slash weather none. Next, let's go over to time. The time command is used to change the time of the server. Syntax is slash time and then in time and the time to set in seconds. By default, the full day in uncertain is one hour, so 3600 seconds. For example, slash time 3200. Next, let's go over to slash airdrop. When you do this command, a random airdrop will spawn somewhere on the map. The next command we're going to go over is slash say. The say command is used to send a message to all players on the server. The syntax is slash say, message, and you can do RGB, which basically is the colors of the text. Next, let's go over to the teleport command, which is a complex command that can be used in different ways to teleport yourself or other players. The syntax is slash teleport, player, and location. The player is the name of the player to teleport. If you want to teleport yourself, you can leave this field empty. The location to teleport to is a location. It can be one of the following. Firstly, it can be a player, which is the name of the player you want to teleport to. It can be a bed, which you would teleport yourself to the bed. It can be WP, which is waypoint, and can be used to teleport yourself to a specific area of the map. And finally, we have node, for example, a city or another marked location like Seattle, Albertson, or the airport. And that is the end of this video, guys. I really hope that you did learn something new. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below or join the Discord, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!